I am on a journey to learn game development with Unity and today I did something that I plan to repeat a couple more times because I don't feel like I fully understood everything yet. I created a small prototype of a game with the help of guides and tutorials of course. I learned how to animate my character using sprites and how I could transition between animations using the animator controller, how I could play these animations using my script and how I could add box colliders to my tile map. Additionally, I had to create a new player movement script because the old one was introducing some problems where my player could clip through objects if you tried hard enough. So I had to take another approach. So first I created a level using what I've learned on day 4. Then I watched Breaky's tutorial on 2D animation after which I could give my character an idle animation. I also set up all the other animations like running, jumping, crouching, etc. Then I added a tilemap collider 2D component to my tilemap. This would basically add perfect box colliders to all my objects within my tilemap, but there was one problem. Each sprite had its own collider. In a bigger game, this would definitely affect the performance. The solution to this is to add a composite collider component to my tilemap. This would take all my individual box colliders and merge them into one big collider. This is good practice. After this, I yoinked my player movement script from an earlier project. I could now move around the level, but there was one big problem. As mentioned earlier, my character would clip through objects if I tried hard enough. Turns out, moving the character by using transform.translate does that. So I had to make another player movement script, this time taking a different approach. But I didn't know where to start though, so I had to watch yet another tutorial. Once the new script was done, everything worked just fine. And I could set up all the transitions between animations in my animation controller. Then I would only need to modify the new script and my player had working animations that would play whenever specific actions were performed, like running, jumping and so forth. At the end of the day, I had a working prototype of a 2D platformer. I am not exactly confident in all the stuff I learned today, which is why I think I just have to do this over and over again until it sticks. Still, I am pretty happy with everything I was able to achieve today. What about you though? Are you currently working on anything? Trying to learn a new skill? How is your learning journey going? That would seriously interest me, so feel free to journal alongside me. Let's all inspire each other. With that being said, have a great day.